reptoid aliens or reptoid beings are believed to be humanoid reptiles with vertical slits for pupils and scaly flesh. They have very, very intimidating looking eyes. They are very tall. They have sharp teeth and they apparently have some sort of large vessel on their back. A blood vessel, that is. Now some believe them to be very dark entities, either some kind of dark spirit or some sort of malevolent alien. Others believe their origins lie right here on Earth, or in it rather. There is said to be a place called Agartha, an underground subterranean pocket where the reptilians could reside and build cities. They could even have dome-like structures with heat in them, because we all know reptilians love heat. We all know that reptilians on Earth absorb sun. Now there are draconians and reptilians. The draconians are said to have wings, and they're much larger than your standard reptilian. Reptilians are more humanoid. There are said to be tailless reptoids, and reptoids that have tails as well as many hybrids. They are said to be carnivorous and dangerous. Now there are also said to be insectoid aliens and specific mantis-like aliens. They may be interplanetary or interdimensional. They're believed to be highly intelligent and some interpret them as being very cold entities. They wear clothes that remind me of some sort of religious figure and they definitely resemble an earthly insect specifically the mantis. These creatures have large black eyes, similar to the greys, and very thin, large bodies, very spindly limbs. They are taller than the greys, although there are said to be tall greys and short greys. Some believe them to be malevolent, and others believe them to be helpers of humanity, similar to the Anunnaki. They may have had a role in creating the human race, or they could be creations themselves. Some sort of biomechanical technology created by another race, this would sort of answer the question of why they seem to not breathe. But they could be biological, as many stories depict them reproducing with humans. Creating hybrids, half-breeds, that have the best of both worlds, quite literally. If you look to your left, you can see the mantis alien accompanying the greys. They are described as being around three feet tall. Well, the tall greys can be as tall as a human, or taller. Now, the tailless reptoid is said to be around the size of a regular reptilian alien, around eight to ten feet. Some sources claim the Alpha Draconians control the reptilians in their hybrid spawn. The Draconians and Reptilians can shapeshift. The hybrids may be able to as well. The Draconians are said to be around 25 feet or taller. In their true form, of course. The black almond-shaped covering over the Grey's eyes is said to be some sort of shield. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's been your boy Dyson. I'm Audi.